Listen to this sound. This very audible noise comes from the brake caliper when lightly braking or even during the entire trip. Excessive dirt or strain in the guidance system of the caliper are possible causes. We take off the rear wheel and check the brake system. Here clearly visible grinding marks at the bottom of the brake disc. This is a clear indication that the floating caliper is under stress. Due to this the brake pads are not evenly on the brake disc. First take out the plug of the wear sensor. Then remove the two screws on the floating caliper and tuck it away. Remove the brake pads. Push in the rubber sleeve of the guide bolt and remove the bolt. Do the same with the locking bolt. Wipe the bolts clean and inspect them for damage. If the bolts are not damaged, you can remove any dirt or thread locking compound in the threads by using a matching tap cutter. If the guide bolts or the locking bolts are damaged, you must replace them. Blow the bolts with compressed air. Then lubricate both bolts with this grease. Try to spread the grease as evenly as possible. bolt on the exit side at the top and the locking bolt on the inlet side at the bottom. On the brake linings grind marks can be seen. After cleaning, we put them back on. Be absolutely sure to renew the micro-encapsulated floating caliper bolts. Reinstall the floating caliper with the new bolts. Now you need a feeler gauge. This ensures free space between the contact surface and the flat end of the bolt.
Use the 1mm feeler gauge while you tighten the screws with 32 Newton meters of torque. Check the caliper for ease of movement. Do the same with the locking bolt. Take the feeler gauge out again. The bolt should now not be in direct contact. Put the plug of the sensor back in and check the floating caliper for ease of movement. If everything is okay, then bring the wheel back on again. With a test drive, you're finished. Double check your work. You don't hear anything? Then return the vehicle to the customer.